Let's get into some key details about ICD-10-CM diagnosis codes, what they do, and what we need to know about them. First of all, ICD-10-CM are the codes that we use to report a diagnosis. This is what they may look like. They can have three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to seven alphanumeric characters to create the code. And you see that dot between the two and the three? That's always between the third and fourth characters. Diagnosis codes explain why the physician needed to provide care to the patient or why the patient needed the care of the physician. In the business, the industry, we call this medical necessity. And what it does is it identifies or justifies the provision of every procedure, service, or treatment that it was done by in accordance with the standards of care. As I said a little bit ago, uh, an ICD-10-CM code might only be three characters, or it might need four, five, six, or seven characters. Well, how will you know how long it's supposed to be? Because the coding manual will tell you. With signs and symbols and notations, you will see that exactly how long that code needs to be. But... Also note that when the coding manual tells you that a fifth character or a seventh character is required, that is not optional. It is not a suggestion. It is mandatory. And that means that any code you report with fewer characters is invalid. You will see as you learn the code set about the seventh characters because they are a little different than the meanings of the other characters. These seventh characters um, will always provide a, an additional information and often they will report where in the treatment plan this specific encounter is. It might be the first time this patient is seeing this physician for this reason, an initial encounter. It might be a follow-up, a subsequent encounter, or it might be for something known as sequela or late effects. You'll learn more about these details later as you learn the code set. But here's the thing, when a seventh character or even a fifth or sixth character is required and noted in the, in the coding manual, but there are no fourth or fifth characters, we need a way to make sure that everybody is standing in its place. So we use the letter X in order to fill that space so that the sixth character and the seventh character can fall in the right place. This is very, very important. Also in this coding manual, you will find that there are notations and directions. And the thing about these notations and directions is they are there to help you code accurately. And all you have to do is read them because they're right there. They're right there by the code that you're looking at, by the code that you're considering. So you'd be silly not to listen to directions that are going to help you do your job more accurately, right? Of course, right. Okay, so you will see and excludes one notation that identifies a mutually exclusive condition. So this excludes one may list a condition beneath the code for a different condition. And this excludes one is saying, you know what, these, these one person cannot have these two things at the same exact time. Let me simplify it, is that it, what it tells you is that these two conditions, the one for the code that's there and the one that's in the excludes one notation, that they're contradictory to each other or that they cannot coexist in the same person at the same time or that they're too close to each other so therefore they are redundant. 
Now, you got to read carefully because there's also an excludes to notation, which is more of a warning that a particular condition is not included in the above code, which means that one of two things, you might be in the wrong place and you actually need to report a different code, or you need to report this code, and you may need to report in another code to tell the whole story. You'll learn more about this as you get more experience with ICD-10-CM. But if you have any questions, make sure you post to the Q&A with the professor discussion forum.